if you're a landscape or nature or travel or any other photographer whose location of the photos is a big part of those photos, then it's a really good idea. It's a lot of fun to have the GPS coordinates of those photos recorded to the photos themselves so that you can look on a map and see where all of your photos were created. There are a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm gonna share what I think is the easiest, which is recording your GPS track on a smartphone and then syncing that GPS track to all of your photos in Lightroom Classic. This is all a part of my post-processing workflow that I go over in the After the Capture course, which you'll find linked in the video description here, along with a coupon code to get 20% off of that course. Most camera systems offer some kind of smartphone connection so that you can sync your smartphone to your camera via Bluetooth. And then every time you press the shutter button, the smartphone's current GPS location is sent to your camera over that Bluetooth connection and recorded to that photo. And while it sounds really nice and really easy, it's actually quite cumbersome. I've never had a completely flawless experience with either the Fujifilm or the Nikon apps uh, that I can speak to. The connection drops off. Some photos aren't tagged at all. Some of them have the wrong location. Not to mention that it really eats up the battery of both your camera and your smartphone, which is a problem if you're doing some kind of long trips. So what I think is the easiest, most foolproof way to do this is to record your track with a smartphone app, a GPS app. And then once you're done with your trip and you've recorded that track, which you can download, then you can sync that to all of the photos that you have imported into Lightroom Classic. The smartphone app that I use is Gaia GPS. There are a lot of them out there. I've been using this app for almost a decade now and I love it. So on a recent overnight backpacking trip along the Tahoe Rim Trail, all I had to do was at the start of each morning, start of each day, I just hit the record button. And this works with the phone in airplane mode so that you can preserve that battery even longer. And then at the end of the day, I just stop recording, save that track, and it uploads to the cloud where I can download it on my computer when I'm ready to sync to my photos. Okay, so that's not all you have to do if you're gonna use this method. You do also need to make sure that your camera's clock is as accurate as possible. And this is one thing that those apps are good for, is to sync your camera clock to the nearest second for the nuclear uh, atomic time that is uh, the official time for the GPS network. And then now you have a completely accurate time, or you can just set it with your watch or your phone. It doesn't have to be to the exact second, but the closer you can get it, the more accurate location you're gonna have. You're going to sync these tracks in post-processing software on the computer. Not too long ago, I did a video about how to do this in Photo Mechanic, which is my preferred editing program, but I realize more people are using Lightroom Classic than Photo Mechanic, and Lightroom Classic is a bit easier to do that. It does not work with the cloud-based version of Lightroom yet. You need to be using the older, a more clunky version of Lightroom Classic. But after getting home, I log in to my Gaia GPS account. I go to my tracks and I see these two tracks that I named in the app when I recorded them. I export those as GPX files. I can just keep them in my downloads folder. So those are there, I know where they are. I've imported my photos from this backpacking trip into Lightroom Classic. I haven't done any other editing yet, but I'm going to sync the GPX track that I downloaded to those photos now. You go to the map module in Lightroom Classic. You have a few different views here. There's a hybrid that shows the roads and landmarks over a satellite photo, just the satellite photo, a road map. There's also a terrain topographic view. I think the hybrid view is really good for double checking where your photos were created. So I'm going to select that. Now we're going to load those track files into Lightroom. We go to this little zigzag icon at the bottom and select load track log. Then I go to my downloads folder. I select that first track and now it's overlaid on that map. You can hover along that track and see the times that you are at for each point on that track. 
Next, I'm going to select all of the photos that I know are on that track. I'm going to select the first photo from that morning, scroll over to the last photo for the day, hold the shift key and then click on that last photo. And now all photos for that day for that track are selected. I'm gonna go back to that zigzag icon and select the auto tag option. I know that all of my times are correct, so this auto tag will work just fine. And voila, now I can see on the map where all of those photos were created. I can just go through and double check, which is why the hybrid view helps. The numbers in each icon shows how many photos were created there. So I'm actually now gonna go to the terrain view because I know there was a little cascade here that I can't see under the snow. I go to that cascade on the map, click on that icon, and sure enough, photos of that cascade come up and I can scroll through each one in this area. Now, if these locations are off slightly, like you know that this photo was created at a different spot on that trail, maybe your camera clock was off by a minute or a few seconds even, you can simply drag that marker along the track to where you know it belongs. I was at the apex of this trail, this switchback right here. It's not gonna change the EXIF capture time, just the coordinates. But if all of your photos are off, you probably don't want to drag all of them. Or if your camera's time zone was different than the GPS time, there is an easy way to adjust all of these photos at once. First, make note of how much your photos were off. Maybe you notice that all of the photo markers show up along that track one minute after the actual location of where that photo should be. So make note of that. And then we need to delete the GPS information from all of the photos. So with all of those photos selected, hit the delete key in the map module and then select delete all selected for the GPS data. Now we're going to make that time correction. In that track log menu, we're going to set a time zone offset. This is useful if you're traveling across time zones, but you can also use it any other time that your camera is slightly off from the actual GPS time. So going back to our example, we noted that our camera time was one minute slow. The photos were showing up on the track one minute after they were actually created. We're gonna type that in and now everything shifts back one minute a positive number is gonna move the track time forward, which moves the photos back on the track. I know it can be confusing, but if you need to move the photos forward along that track, use a negative number. If you need to change the time zone by an hour for travel, your camera was an hour behind the actual time, just enter negative one, and that's going to adjust the track log one hour behind to match up with the camera capture time. You're moving the track log time to match up with the camera. You'll see that adjusted track log time on the bottom here. Then you can go back to auto tag all of the photos and recheck all of their locations. You'll have to repeat this process for each track log that you have. So I'm just really quick gonna open up my second day track log. And if I know that my camera clock was already one minute slow, I can go into set this time zone offset before I auto tag everything, enter that. I'm going to select all of the photos from that second day. And when I auto tag those, they're going to be tagged with those GPS coordinates with that time correction already enabled. And again, you can just go through and check where all of those photos were created. So that's how you can geotag your photos in Adobe Lightroom Classic, which is a really nice way to be able to see where all of your photos were created, to have a record of those locations, see them all on a map. All you need to do is download a GPS app onto your smartphone. There's some free ones out there. Record that track, download that track onto your computer as a GPX file, and then sync that GPX file to all of your photos in Lightroom Classic. Please let me know if you have any other questions or comments about this process. 
subscribe for more great tips like this every week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.